they maybe even should have beaten heroic so i i'm not really too worried for them <laughs> oh my god mbk is just destroyed goofy and yeah that that's basically what i was expecting but maybe not quite that clean i mean mbk's had enough probably again performing on train doing it yet again on nuke so far and dark was left alone against five don't really think there's a solid chance for him to win He's going to get tagged himself, but it seems like a lot of players are currently being tagged low. In fact, that is now everybody except Mantu. And this, this is getting dangerous, Jason. The pistols have already found two kills. In fact, Sobel's even going to be able to retreat back. Another one coming up. MBK is gone as well. This is all falling apart. Mantu, Valde, at least put something on the board. Come on. I feel like I said this a thousand times. Mantu left alone relatively soon. And he's supposed to fight his way in there and Darko will close it. The CT side are in a very good spot and already it's going to be a spray down. A bit of a whiff from Goofy, but back to the D he goes. And maybe that's what... To doubt qualify now for IM New York would be a big shame for them. And honestly, if we talk about the other side of this, this sword is, is the fact that it would be a massive victory for Pact. A massive breakthrough for them to potentially play against some extremely good teams from EU, maybe it's some decent prize money and obviously some really good experience under their belt. As they're just hunting MBK and MBK's gonna get one with the, I think that was the burst fire coming through. Shots, otherwise Darko's gonna be coming under some serious pressure. He's still gonna get the kill and actually Sobo has just run straight through the smoke. Darko keeps it going and now Sobo looks to chime in alongside him. The trade's at least coming back for now. With that bomb needing to be planted. Valde is taking a risk, and he needs to. He needs to give them a way back into this round. Maniz is dead for sure. It's his teammate that's the problem. And Goofy has kept it onto just man two. He knows he needs this kill, and he won't find it. You're looking uh, to poise to come out of squeak. If Valde's going to fall, he's going to follow up on this one. Takes down Goofy, so the one-for-one one trade's going to work out. Man two, in the meantime, able to get one, and Lunatic can't connect. And the upper bomb site take has worked out. I um, mean, he's, I think he has to kind of wait. Can Darko accomplish anything here? Well, he's already picked up oh, one. Maybe Maniz not. He's has actually found the other. And now it's onto Alexi B, who's actually Molotov down into the corner. They need to make sure that they keep an eye on the door. The second incendiary goes down, the kit will get onto the bomb. It's down to Darko to defend it. And he. Port from Lunatic, who will trade one for one. But they keep themselves with a two man lead. So ball. Oh, he's gonna spot out Alexi B, and that's the bomb. There shouldn't really be much of a chance for him. If anything, get some damage done. You got 10 seconds left, and racing to see who could finish top. Now, well, it's it's a different kind of race. They're both bottom of the board with two kills. Push coming in onto Darko. He's gonna hear all the footsteps. I don't think he can escape this. There's nothing he could do. They that little curve part of the wall towards ramp. Before he actually even saw them coming in there, and obviously by the time he noticed they were there, it was too late. And he tried to back away, got caught off, and then it would seem to be like a downward spiral from that. Now Goofy's set up. Darko actually pushes up ramp. Again, the aggression out of Darko and, and Pact in general. He even seemed to work on the CT side, but look at this Mantu and Valde. Extremely low health, though. Alexi B was able to get a kill. Sobel again is going to drop the bomb. He needs to buy some time as Manis is going to back him up and take down Alexi B. Covers him off. And Mantu on two, Isa on 100. Well, Isa on zero now as Mantu's left alone. He gets three again, but now he gets the first kill. He doesn't have the bomb though, Tom, so I'm really worried for him and how he's going to be able to recover it. But at least he might have the element of surprise here. Or may Yet to really make its move. It's seeming like a bit of a fake to try and dislodge these players. Maniz still holding onto the cross, but now that he falls, this might actually pull the rotations away from the other players. However, Goofy has yet to fall for this, and he's just waiting patiently. Lunatic has spotted the push coming in, and Goofy now has everything to do. Do they expect him to be here? They do. And that is a... And OG, I mean, the thing is, I, I feel like they're finding this match to be a lot more difficult than maybe they necessarily have got it, and it seems they will push eventually off of that. The MAC-10 of Alexi B going to net themselves nothing as Darko is going to be under a lot of fire here. The rotations need to come in and Sobel's going to be there and just trade one for one. They know Darko's still down here, but Darko can't get the job done. Valdo will be down to 5 HP as Isa's going to do a late rotate in towards Secret. He might be able to catch up the player who's dropped inside of Vent. I believe that's going to be Lunatic. Ended and 
I don't even know if they have time for anything here. Lunatic's kill could make things interesting, but they have to get going. They need to get someone onto that bomb, and they need to do it now. And, well, it is just not happening. They're being picked apart. Nope. Lunatic actually is going to be the one here with the Deagle to try to stop them, and he gets, unfortunately, nothing. I mean, he's trying to even go for a falling Deagle shot here as he peeks around the corner for no luck. And it looks like OG might have themselves a clean run finally after... What, the pistol round? Yeah, it's definitely been a, a rough half for them. They, they, and while I think Valde getting four kills in the last round and picking up a few eco frags here as well, could make things a little bit more interesting. And these, yeah, flashes are perfect. I think even the Molotov was thrown there was pretty good. Seems like they're actually trying to go for this round, and they have managed to find one kill. A lot of damage, but MBK and Mantu combined to shut them down, and I, I think they might have found the weakness. This B site. Thing is, I can respect it because they've only tried that like once, and that was the round before where Lunatic had a Deagle, and that was an overall save, anyways. But in eco rounds, it's something you'll see in matchmaking on a regular basis. Man. And going on the T side, which technically is their stronger side. I mean, maybe they're going to have a chance, though I feel like, again, Nuke and Train are a little bit of a different story when it comes to the bot, because they can just hold this angle, even throw another Molotov after, but 30 seconds left on the clock, they're making their way in, Sobel has to come up big, but East is going to drop him as he rotated from outside, and Mansu even takes Lunatic down, he's just tucked away behind the second vent, and now Darko's left alone. Been looking inevitable, and Darko, he's not had a bad game, but for his team, this is not the hard. A little bit dicey for Sobo, and the bomb down in the open is definitely an issue. I just realized my mic was down that entire time. Already, Issa is gonna find a kill, and Mini's just hoping to try and steal the bomb away. I don't think he even got it. D and Mansu just gonna spot him out, and obviously let MBK know there's a player dropping on top of him. Oh, <laughs> MBK is taking a bit of damage. I'm trying to very, very slowly break this door. The inevitable. And uh, they're actually going to try and go back to ramp, but Valde has not moved. He hasn't been baited in on a rotation, and he will clean things up very nicely indeed. Toman, and well, he's dead in this round as well. Maniz waiting for rotations, but... But they put two men in this corner. This will be surprising. Darko, all he has to do is just sit back, relax, let Lunatic do the work. Sobel already chimes in with another, and they may not expect this player to be in the corner. That's the whole bait. Gout to make a set, make sure Lutic doesn't fall, and Valda, his head cleanly taken off. But again, we talk about unexpected second players. Well, they expect the player to be right here. It's Mansu gets a spray onto two, but Goofy will respond. However, he's taking damage that's been done. There's a, a far higher chance that they at least try something, especially with an HG. Well, already, it's from. The side of OG are just going to want to keep themselves this extra weaponry. The thing that surprises me here, Jason, is how much they've actually invested. For OG. Because going into the next round, yeah. Mm. OG. Can easily come back from that. Issa is going to lose one of the, the, the few guns they have in this round. As he tries to get cheeky over towards Secret. Alexi B, though, in a good position, but it doesn't matter. So what, they lose the pistol, they lose the second round, and they lost one more in there, and they've been able to win everything since. I mean, two rounds. This will be number three, though. Oh, yeah, no, they've, uh, they, yeah, they lost the pistol, they lost the second, then they've won three rounds in a row, and this will be their, their oh, the fourth. fourth, okay. So, All right, OG. Uh, yeah. And two, he's gotten very aggressive towards ramp. Easy gets the first kill, and if they transition towards lobby, he should be at least getting the one kill, and that's the bomb spotted. Yeah, of course, this is where we expect things to get tough for Pact as their opponents now have a buy. Alexi B is actually going to get away with doing a fair amount of damage from the ladders. I don't know how he seems to do that so consistently. And Val didn't seem like there's going to be any sort of flashbang lunatic goes in, but Mantu, well, he pushes them back. 
They can't get any further than this. The flashbang eventually comes up, but he's already repositioned. They don't expect the vent spot from Mantu. And while they finally put him down, and Sobel has actually caught another. However, it's very short-lived, and he's gone up while reloading. And I think MBK has a very good idea that he's here. Edge of the smoke. I like this play from Darko, but MBK... It's going to be difficult, and they're actually just grouping up completely and Hutt making the push come through. He's just not blind at all, but he'll get the one kill before he's finished off. And now in towards main, Goofy gets a second. And again, I talked about him before. Cash in the world, but again, we, we see how tough these retakes can be. And if they were to lose every single weapon... It wouldn't be a good position to be in. Um, I think Maniz actually did think they were going for that. So he backed them. Maniz has also given up some information with the sound cue. However, this time he's caught on the rotation. And that could be everything. It's again of if this is worth going for. Alexi B certainly thinks so. He's going to be in a good spot. He denies the bomb. And at least buys some time for the remaining players to get back into position. And also, he could have got himself set up on the staircase again and maybe got a couple of kills. I mean, the Molotov came through. Maybe that was why he thought he was free. Because it's like, all right, why would they throw a Molotov in towards Secret if they haven't pushed Secret yet? And then we saw them obviously do just that with Sobel. Gets ahead, catches Mentu off guard. Seemingly about to come under pressure. Maniz caught with an aid in hand. And now they're going to run the gauntlet back to the ramp. But Valde is in their way. He's pretty much closed out this round and Lunatic... Well, there's not really a chance for him here. He's going to be met with an open door. Oh, they're going to do it. I Maniz mean, just goes straight out of hut. No one even spots him. Alexi B eventually able to get it, though, as he's on top of it. And the backup's really not there, except MPK's fallen. Lunatic's been able to get around towards main. Sobo loses the duel up against Mantu. And so does Goofy. And it looks like OG will be able to defend this as Darko's going to fall through the hut. OG get finally took the break back two in a row. Fast play not working, and they've seemingly... Maybe looking to open the door as well to go for the shot. Spots out a leg, but can't hit anything, unfortunately. It should be a pretty quick cleanup for OG as the bomb now thrown forward. And Lexi B in easy position as well. We've seen him more dedicated to the ramp. Goofy just about wins that battle, but... but they're going to need this kill. Actually, it's a Molotov. They're running straight through the smoke and ball. They can just shut this down right here, right now. He gets the first and a second. Lutik's going to respawn, but it's going to be down to the two on three now. And Mantu's already rotated down... His position could be so vital. I think he's just watching to see if anybody crosses over from the door. And I, like Goofy should have a smoke or something for this. It's a flash instead. And I, I'm going to be honest, I would have much rather just seen him try and help his teammate get the bomb down. He went to try and set him up for the kill. and. In